Shalom, Shalom. Uh, this is your brother Amawan Ibai from the GMS Miami camp. Okay, back again with another uh, quick nugget. All right. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of greatness. Full of talk, may this truth will move well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. All right, with that being said, today I'm, I'm, I'm rolling in the spirit, you know, whatever the spirit allows. That will, that will I speak upon, you know. But um, uh, needless to say, there's a lot going on, man. You know, but we just here to prophesy the word of the Lord and give you warning, man. Ezekiel 3:17, the Lord said, "Son of man, have made thee a, a, a watchman, okay, to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me." So we warning you, all right, of the, the impending dangers and the things that's about to come on earth, all right, that you prepare your minds, okay, and get ready for these things, man, and take heed to the word of the Lord, okay, because. Scripture speaks about in the latter days, it shall be perilous times. When you go into that word perilous, it means dangerous, savage, fierce, hard to take. Okay? All right? And these are the times that you're coming into. Okay? People dying, mass death. The scripture speaks about these things, man. Psalm 91, a thousand shall fall at thy right hand, and ten thousand at thy right side. Okay? But it shall not come nigh thee. Who? The elect, those that are predestinated from the foundation of the earth, okay, to see salvation, man. All right, the Lord is going to preserve them. Why? Because they're doing what the Lord told them to do, command them to do. Go out and teach this word. Okay? Go out and teach this word and warn his people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you need to seek the Lord, man. Acknowledge that you transgress against the Lord and turn back to him and repent, man, daily. Okay? Turn back to the Lord and turn from wickedness, man. Turn from evil. Okay, coming back, come back into the way of righteousness. Look for the old path, as, as the scriptures say, because we come into some some serious times, man. The scripture speaks about um, the scripture speaks about. See these days that we're in now. These are these are the last days, man. You in, you in end times right now, and the scripture speaks about things happening. Look what look what just happened in, in uh, between Turkey and Syria. It was a a, a, a catastrophic earthquake. Look how many people died. Okay, well, the scripture speaks about those things. All right? I'm going to read this. It's the second answer. Chapter 5 and verse 1. It says, Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, it says, Behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great number. This taken means put to death, man. Die. Okay? Shall be taken in great number on the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith so the point is people are going to be taken in great number in these times man right so that's why it would behoove you to seek the lord and, and, and turn from wickedness man all right and turn to the lord wholeheartedly and and, and, and and seek him all right and worship him in truth and in sincerity man it may be that you find grace and the lord delights in you and he delivers you okay if you are part of the elect all right? So at the end of the day, the scripture speaks about taking heed to the word of the Lord because that's how you're able to renew your mind through the words of the Lord, through the scriptures. Psalms 119 and verse 9 says, Beth wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto unto thy word. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. You got to take heed to the words of the Lord because the words of the Lord are faithful and true, man. The words of the Lord are faithful and true, man. All right? All right? From the beginning of time, they were oracles. All right? But he put them on, uh, uh, he engrafted them on stones and gave it to Moses to give to the children of Israel. All right? We had scrolls, all right? And then it, 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 came, it came written on paper, which is the, the, the Holy Bible, all right? But the point is, the word of the Lord is faithful and true. You can count on the word of the Lord, all right? It says, uh, this is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Now, you know... The testimony of our Lord Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. Psalms, uh, like in Revelation 19 and 10 tell you that. That's why we come like mind in the spirit of our Lord. We speak about the prophecies, man. Okay, because this book is the living, is a living book. Just tell you what's gonna happen before it happened. That's why to prophesy means to say before. But this is the words of the Lord. It says, 
Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Okay, these words are faithful and true. And it says, Fear not the imagination against, against thee, let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. This word incredulity goes into the unbelief. Mm -hmm. All right, so the words that we speak, and if people don't want to believe it, that's on them. That's not going to make the Most High's uh, 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 word be without effect, man. As I tell you in Romans 3 and 3, it says, verse 4, For all the unfaithful, meaning all the unbelievers, man, all the unfaithful shall die in their faithfulness. So if you don't believe the word of the Lord is true, okay, faithful and true, that's going to be a, a detriment unto you, man. You're going to be punished because of that. Why? Because you despise the word of the Lord, man. Should you say, uh, 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 my people, my people are destroyed. Okay, Hosea uh, uh, 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Okay, it says, because ye have rejected knowledge, I shall also reject thee, that thou be no priest unto me. All right? So at the end of the day, you don't, you don't have to believe this, man, but it's going to be a consequence behind it. All right? Because at the end of the day, the scripture speaks about the words of the Lord not returning unto him void. When the Lord speaks something or have it written down, okay, that's going to happen, man. And the scriptures tell you that ain't nobody can resist his will. There is none that can resist his will. Okay? So we're going to get it in uh, Romans, the third chapter. This is Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid, yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou... Right. Thou art judge. Okay? So, at the end of the day, the whole point about it is, if you don't believe, that's not going to stop these prophecies from going forward. The most high will is going to be done, and the Lord is going to do all his pleasure. Okay, the Lord is going to do all his pleasure, man. All right? So at the end of the day, it will behoove you to, to, to repent, okay? Okay, because you transgress against the Lord. The scriptures say to just acknowledge you transgress against the Lord, man, and repent. And turn back to him. Get into these scriptures, okay? And, and seek the Lord, man, all right, before it be too late. Because the scripture speaks about the famine of the word. You got to get this word now while you have liberty to do so while you're in this grace period. You got to use this grace period to, 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 to get the understanding of the word of the Lord because the Lord, because you're going to need teachers to teach you. All right? I, I have the, the spirit suck with you. You're going to need to do, to do that in the grace period. You can't wait till, uh, as they say in the world, shit hit the fan and then try to do this. It's going to be too late. It is a cutoff point. That's why Amos uh, 8 and 11 is written. The famine of the word. There's a time where the word is going to go away. It's going to be a crying in the street uh, for wine, man. This knowledge, uh, wisdom, and understanding. So you got to get it now. The scriptures speak about how the word of the Lord is precious, man. From them time, even until now, and forevermore, the word of the Lord is precious. So at the end of the day, do the right thing, man. And put, uh, 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 the scriptures say, uh, Matthew 6 and 33, all right? Uh, 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 seek ye first the kingdom of the Lord, of the Lord and his righteousness. Okay, and all these things shall be added unto you. So the Lord comes first, man. So That's Lord right. willing, you will edify them and the devil. All right? I'm going to give all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh. Ba'ashir me, I was shy. Ba'ashir me, kakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of greatness. Do not talk to this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Until the next time, shalom.